Now this is interesting. Everything in this case is made out of either clear or white glass. Looks kind of space age to me. The white glass is so bright. It's like snow that's been covered in thick ice. Every vessel in this case was made by a technique we call the overlay technique. The white is very thin because the artist gathered very little white glass. By contrast, the clear is very thick in some pieces, and that simply indicates that he made two or more gathers of clear glass on top of the white to create the very thick outer layer. They never mix. So how did that curlicue get inside of that tall vase on the left? The artist started by gathering white glass on the end of the blowpipe, and then he gathered a layer of clear glass on the outside of that. After it had hardened a bit, he took a little piece of white glass and made a stripe down the side. Then he gathered clear glass over it yet again, and as he made the vase and worked the glass, the glass at the end began to twist, and it created that twisting, swirly effect. If you'd like to see some master glassmakers in action, don't miss the Hot Glass Show, where you can see live glass blowing.